Intel i5 versus i7 processor. If you are looking at using an Intel processor, then we know it can be easy to get confused between the Intel Core i5 and i7, as they are incredibly similar with small rather subtle differences. Let's get started. Number 1. Core Concept A high percentage of Intel's Core i5 and i7 processors from the 8th and 9th generations feature at least four cores. For general computer usage, four cores are probably considered to be the sweet spot, but even six-core CPUs are easily affordable now. The latest i5 models tend to feature six cores, apart from the multi-threaded i5s used in laptops, which will usually come with four. Many of the later i5 and i7 models will feature six cores, with the higher-end models shipping with eight. Number 2. What's the cache? Alongside faster clock speeds and extra cores, i7 CPUs generally have large caches too. The cache is the CPU's onboard memory and helps the processor deal with tasks and access data faster. The larger the cache size, the better equipped you are to deal with multitasking, but it isn't a standout specification that most concern themselves with. Number 3. Hyperthreading. The main difference between the i5 and the i7 is the i7s hyperthreading capability. Hyperthreading is a technology by Intel that increases the processor's performance on multi-threaded tasks. Hyperthreading makes it seem like an individual core has been doubled, letting each core address two threads at the same time. This technology comes in very handy when dealing with work that depends heavily on multitasking, like rendering. Number 4. Turbo Boost Turbo Boost is essentially an overclocking feature from Intel that will automatically run the processor core faster than its base clock speed. Regardless of what Intel CPU you have, they will each come with a base and boost clock speed. Number 5. Quick Word on Integrated Graphics There is a reason we see Intel CPUs at the helm of the majority of laptops, it's for the integrated graphics. As your standard laptop is not designed for gaming, there is little need or room for a dedicated graphics card. These machines rely on what is known as integrated graphics, or Intel's HD slash UHD graphics. The difference you'll most likely find is between what you can do with each processor during its similar lifespan, rather than any great difference in longevity.